I'm Samantha Drugel. And I'm Megan Kane. Welcome to the 10th Lotus Leaf Live broadcast of the school year here at the high school, where we'll be discussing the news every Friday. This week we'll be delivering several important school announcements and reviewing today's holiday treats. Today is Friday, November 12th, 2021, and this is Lotus Leaf Live. Attention students, the senior class is selling Chick-fil-A sandwiches for $5 during all lunches today. You can find the table right outside the theater doors. They will be doing this about two times a month. If you want to support the senior class or simply just like Chick-fil-A, meet the class advisors right outside the theater doors. Seniors, you need to submit your senior picture, baby picture, and senior quote for the senior square section of the yearbook by November 23rd. To submit your materials, you need to go to the Google form found in the 2022 Google Classroom. If you are a senior and are not in the Google Classroom, the code is 4JNXX7M. Again, the code is 4JNXX7M. Seniors can win gift cards for simply completing their FAFSA. With the box located in the counseling office, students can enter their name once they finish the form. If students need help with the FAFSA, they can visit the Career Center during TFT today or at the same time on November 19th. One-on-one -on -one help will be provided for any students desiring it. Monroe's own Jordan Bassler was named Youth of the Month by Monroe's Exchange Club, along with Ida's Ajay Morelli. The club itself aspires to make a difference in the country one community at a time. Their core values are family, community, and country. The Exchange Club's Youth of the Month program recognizes hardworking high school seniors who demonstrate high levels of Socratic achievement, community involvement, and leadership according to the club. Congratulations. Drama Club's production of Alice in Wonderland is coming up on the 19th through the 21st. On the 19th and 20th, the production starts at 7 p.m. And on the 21st, the production starts at 2 p.m. You can purchase tickets at the door. Stay tuned for more information. On November 2nd, Monroe County had its election for mayor and council members. Here are the results. For mayor, Robert E. Clark. Clerk treasurer, Michelle Lavoie. Councilperson Precinct 1, Paul L. Whitman. Councilperson Precinct 2, Deborah J. Steelgrave. Councilperson Precinct 3, Kelly M. Vining. Councilperson Precinct 4, Michelle Germini. Councilperson three, Precinct 5, Brian Lamar. And Councilperson Precinct 6, Andrew B. Felder. Now on to national news. On Monday, the U.S. raised their travel ban, which had been in place for nearly two years. The ban went into place as a COVID protocol and had banned those traveling into the U.S. from 33 countries. Now individuals from those places can travel into the U.S. if they are fully vaccinated. They also must be tested if entering by air. Among these countries are the United Kingdom, China, and most of the European Union. This brings some mixed opinions as Europe is currently dealing with a fresh surge of COVID-19 cases, worrying some. On November 5th, Travis Scott held a concert in Houston that resulted in the death of eight people and 25 hospitalizations. These casualties were due to a large surge in crowds, causing people to get trampled or suffocate. The crowds were full of 50,000 people, and Scott had been warned by the Houston police chief that the crowds may be dangerous. This comes with Scott's history of having an extremely rambunctious crowd. Also, there was a surge at the gate before the event. Regardless, Scott now faces more than a dozen lawsuits following the event. Here with more on the topic is our very own Drake Carr. Hi, I'm Drake Carr. And this past week, Travis Scott held his Astroworld Festival, which ended in disaster. As of November 11th, eight people are confirmed dead, three people are still in critical condition, and many others are still injured after the festival. When Travis went on stage, everyone surged to the front, causing people to suffocate or be trampled. Emergency services had a hard time getting to these injured concert goers because how cramped the audience was and with the people jumping on and shaking the emergency cars while the concert was going on. There was also multiple reports of people being injected with the drug Narcan throughout the concert. 
but there's only been one confirmed case so far. The second day of the festival was canceled, and both Travis Scott and Drake has put out an apology on the social media after the events that took place. Travis is now getting multiple different lawsuits from people that attended the concert because of how their life was put in danger. I hope everyone has a good weekend. This is Drake Carr signing out. We'll be visiting varsity home games and meets to catch footage of your favorite team and bringing you the scores of all MHS sports as they come. Now, here's Tristan Mann for this week's sports update. Hi, I'm Tristan Mann, keeping you up to date on all MHS athletics. Here's what you need to know on this week's sports update. This past Saturday were the cross country division one finals at Michigan International Speedway. The boys varsity cross country team competed and placed 27th. Sophomore Victoria Blaniers also competed in the girls finals individually. Her time was 1938.77. Girls varsity swim had their SEC red meet at Skyline High School this past weekend. They placed 7th. That's all in MHS sports. Join us next week for more updates and highlights. Our school doctor's office is back with their segment, Medical Meetup, where they will be bringing you awareness to a new health issue every month. Check it out. Hi everyone, my name is Barbara. I'm one of the nurses down here in the ProMedica Health Clinic. Um, I am talking today about November, which is Smoking Cessation Awareness Month. Each month we're going to have an education topic to kind of discuss and bring awareness to. Um, and this month is smoking. Um, E-cigarettes are now the most commonly used tobacco product in youth. Um, and research has found that um, youth who do use e-cigarettes are more likely to begin smoking um, cigarettes later on in life. Um, November 18th is the Great American Smoke Out, which is sponsored by the American Cancer Society to bring awareness to lung cancer. Um, it's a day where um, the American Cancer Society motivates smokers to quit for 24 hours to bring awareness to um, lung cancer. Um, so we'll be celebrating that on November 18th. It's a Thursday. Um, if you have any questions or want to learn more, you can come down um, to our health clinic in D111 and talk to either myself or Connie, um, where the nurse is here, and we'd love to go through our board with you and, and talk about some facts that we have up. Uh, boys in high school are two times more likely to be smoking e-cigarettes than girls, um, and you can see here this is 8th grade, 10th grade, 12th grade. Um, it significantly rises. Um, Yellow is e-cigarette usage and orange is cigarette usage. Um, so e-cigarettes are definitely more common um, to use now in high school than cigarettes. Um, uh, here's an interesting fact. Manufacturers don't have to report their ingredients in e-cigarettes. So a lot of times um, individuals don't really know what they're smoking in, in the e-cigarettes. And this graph kind of shows that 66% um, of people that smoke e-cigarettes just uh, believe that it's just flavoring, um, which is not true. I am back with yet another taste test. And of course, my dad will be joining me. Today, I tried holiday coffee. Take a look. Hi, I'm Megan Kane, and today I don't feel like baking or cooking anything, so I'm gonna taste test something instead. I'm gonna be taste testing a holiday flavored coffee. The reason why I put a lot of emphasis on holiday is because I'm not going to say Christmas because I know a lot of people think it's too early to celebrate Christmas. It's November. I think we can celebrate Christmas when we want to. So I'm going to be trying Starbucks new sugar cookie latte. I think that's what it's called. It's sugar cookie something. I've heard many mixed reviews on this, so I'm just going to go in and give my honest expert opinion. I don't really know much about coffee. I'm just going to tell you if it tastes good. Okay, Dad, can you tell the people where we're going? Yes, we are going to... Starbucks. Starbucks for Christmas coffee. It's holiday coffee. Holiday coffee. A Sweet. holiday flavored drink. And do you know what the flavor is? Peppermint. <laughs> no, it's sugar cookie. We're getting a sugar cookie drink. 
A sugar cookie drink. Sugar cookie drink. Yes. Okay, so you want, do you want a peppermint mocha? Yes. No, that's not the drive-thru, it's up more. Okay, you still have to taste test the sugar cookie. Corduroy! You still have to taste test the other one though, okay? Sure. Woo! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh! Okay, maybe bringing the dogs wasn't the greatest idea. Here's a pop cup for you, Cordy. Can you hand this to Charlie? Charlie's in the back. Oh, here you go. Maybe this will calm him down. Okay, here you go. Here's your cup. Okay, so I'm trying the sugar cookie latte. I don't know if you can see, but it has little sprinkles in it. And he, what'd you get? Oh, a peppermint mocha. Okay, mm. ready? Mm. Oh, this what? is actually really good. I'm glad. This is like the only Starbucks drink I've ever had that isn't like mildly disappointing. Like this is good. Here, you try. Trade me. Oh, Cordy. Oh, it's hot. <coughs> 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 it tastes like um, what's it called? A thin mint. Thin mint cookie. Yeah. <laughs> okay, which one do you like better though? This was good. Yeah, the, wasn't um, it the? This is what the original plan was to come here to try. But this is really good. I like mine too. Wow. We just got two really good drinks from Starbucks. But this review is on this and I would give it a solid 9 out of 10. What do you think? No, this, this one. <laughs> I would prefer it warm. Okay. But I still give it a 9. A 9? And yep. what about that one? This one here is uh, eight and a half. Eight and a half out of 10? Wow. This one's really good. It was. Everyone that's giving like bad reviews, I don't know. I don't know what's up with them. This is actually like a really good drink. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely recommend this. Whether or not you think it's too soon to celebrate Christmas, this is a really good holiday drink. Cory, don't drink that. Drink this. Controversial. Do you think November is too early to start celebrating Christmas? Yes. What was that? Yes. You think it's too early? Yes. Well, then you should take your peppermint mocha bag. <laughs> I'll have it. Well, that's all we have for you today. Join us next week for our Thanksgiving special. We will continue to keep our social media and website updated during these fast changing times. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media at Lotus Leaf Live. You can read the full stories and more on our website, lotusleaflive.com. I'm Samantha Drugal. And I'm Megan Kane. We hope everyone is staying safe and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.